Hey, plus good evening, everybody. This is Sportsnet News. I'm Joe Boric, and woo, what a crazy game that was as a 4-3 shootout finish uh, goes to the Rochester Americans. Everybody knows that watches the channel how much I hate shootouts and their skill competition. 3.9 goals per game to the Eastern Conference goal leader. Good luck uh, beating them in a shootout. But the fan I'm scratching claw to the end, and before we break down the entire game, I first have to first and foremost say Samuel Urson unfortunately left this game. Pat Nagel stepped up and was huge in the OT, as well as a couple saves he had to um, make there earlier in the third, and then of course was huge to round out the third as they got shellacked too much at the end there. Got the uh, goal, the Americans off of the weird rebound goal they were able to get, and then Merch was just left open poorly in front of the net twice, as that was bad, poorly net front defense, and really bad net front defense by going then, and we just lost him behind him on the second goal. But as I said, as I wrote down in my game notes, Ursan was sharp in the first period back. Phantoms had a nice PK, and then they were able to get one of their own as York was able to na make a nice movement play as he was then able to get the puck to Bunneman, who was then able to bury his goal um, as he keeps his goal streak going there. So that was nice to see for Connor Bunneman. And then Sandine in the first period, in his first game back, he looked very good on the PK in general, but he made a very nice play on the PK. In his first game back, he did so later on in the second period as well on the PK. And then Wiley continues to look sharp, making just good, de steady defensive plays as well as Logan Day back there on defense. Those two just play a nice, steady, eddy defensive game that just kind of calmed it. The combers of the defense, kind of, let's put it that way. Um, And then Dell. Um, that one play he made um, in the second period when Ursan again had to make some early key saves in the second period when he came all the way out of the net. That was a really effective play to make. Otherwise, who knows if Ratcliffe could have ended up getting to that puck. That that reminded me a little bit, but it ended up better for Dell when Yori Halak came out of the net and Richards was able to score uh, for the Flyers. But obviously that worked out a lot better for Dell. Um, Ursan then made a beautiful glove save on Krebs while the Phantoms were on the power play. Probably not the save of the night, though, unfortunately for uh, Samuel Ursan as Aaron Dell in overtime had that as after the Phantoms were getting shellacked by the Rochester Americans as they gave them a power play that was really a suspect call. Uh, the Rochester Americans were shellacking them from the power play, and then and on after when Cal O'Reilly comes out of the box, he then drops a pass back to Funny for one of the better saves, like Road Truck said after the game, that you will really ever see. I mean, this game was lively. This game was energetic. This game kind of felt like a mini playoff atmosphere with the way the fans were getting involved. And it's just unfortunate the Phantoms came out on the losing end of the stick. Um, and then also, Ursan made a beautiful play coming out of the net to get the puck up ice shortly thereafter. So a couple of nice plays by goaltenders coming out of the net in this game as well. Um, Wilson then got an interference with 5.30 in the second. Uh, again, 3.9 goals per game uh, for Rochester Americans. Of course, they won this game 4-3. to three. The extra goal was in the shootout, so staying on Pat with that. Um, and then there was no chance in front for Ursan as on his knees as he was for both of them. Merch was able to score as that was bad net front defense on the first one. And that was right as Wilson came out of the box. And then after that, you could tell that there was a huge shift in momentum as it looked like at about the six-minute mark, the Phantoms were starting to push in the second and do as they kind of did in the first. They kind of picked up the pace, and then all of a sudden, the Americans got that power play, got a goal, snapped it into reality, basically, to them, and had a great end of the second where uh, Ursan ended up having to, before he exited this game, after the second, made a great save at the end on Malone. So this is unfortunate that Samuel Urson had to exit this game. He was insanely sharp and really probably the top star of the game to get the Phantoms out of the second period where they were at. So, I mean, uh, he deserves all the credit in the world for getting them out of the second period at 1-1. And then Pat Nagel came in and played a hell of a game himself. Didn't have to do a lot until the back half of the third period but played a hell of a game himself once he had to make key saves, is finishing out 33-30 to was the shots in this game. But uh, Shusko keeps his goals going. He got the nice backhanded empty netter. In this one, he had a pass from Gerard that was intended for, I can't remember who was in front of the net, but it ended up banking to Max Shus ah, Maxime Shusko, who then was able to wire it home from the slot. 
And then O'Reilly was tied for ninth in assists in AHL history, so congratulations to him. And then there was also a great diving defensive play that kept potentially Rochester maybe even uh, winning this game uh, sooner by uh, Igor Zamula to keep the puck away from Warren of Rochester. And then Bunneman also almost scored earlier in this game on a dump in when, it, when Dell had to be reactive there. So that would have been uh, funny and ridiculous. That's why this game had so much weird bounces. Goaltenders coming out of the net making nice plays. Uh, bad defense in front again by the Phantoms, which has been an Achilles hero the most season. But then overall, better play mixed in with like really bad sloppy play at the end of the second and at the start of the first. And also at times at the start of the second. So it was a weird game with mixed in great play by the Phantoms with mixed in off play by the Phantoms. But it was a very good back and forth game and against one of the best in the AHL and one of the more talented teams in the AHL with very good young talent. Um, like Paterka, who was able to bury the empty net, or not the empty net, the uh, goal in the shootout there. So um, I think this game was just one of those games that I admit the Phantoms could have had a much better closeout. Garrett Wilson pretty much hinted at that where he said it was nice to get the one point, paraphrasing what he said in the post game. But you want to be able to find a way to get the second one. And the Phantoms weren't able to do that tonight. And the big part is because they let Merch get open in front of the net again and then allowed a rebound goal off of an odd angle shot that they just did not have a good closeout to a third period where it looked like they were going to have a great closeout for 90% of the third period. And then that final 10% not so hot, which is what pushed them into OT, where Pat Nagel came up big on the power play um, for the Rochester Americans. And then they almost scored the Phantoms as Bunneman was robbed by Aradell, but it just wasn't meant to be. Mayhew was able to even it up in the shootout um, after Strom was stopped on the first one, and then Roostalainen was able to score for Rochester, but then Adam Glendening unfortunately hit the post. This was also a game of inches, as the uh, Phantoms also had a chance by O'Reilly that, of course, squeaked past Dell, and they were not able to get it in. So this is just kind of one of those games where you kind of just throw your hands up and say the, the team that figured it out won, but it was a pretty even, weird game with weird plays like goaltenders coming out of the net. Um, some sloppy moments from an overall game that I thought the Phantoms obviously battled with one of the better teams in the AHL. Well, it's just you also had very sloppy off moments. So it, was a, it was a weird game in that aspect. But a great game in the sense of being able to battle all the way, especially when your starter that started this game and brought you even through two comes out. And the great veteran Pat Nagel coming in again in relief for the Phantoms is able to step up and have a huge game. So I would say the two goaltenders really or stars of this game for the Phantoms to kind of get them to where they were at. And then, otherwise, it would be grouping uh, Shusko and Bunneman together for keeping their goal streak going. And then, of course, when it comes to Rochester, it would be Paterka uh, for being able to win it in the shootout. And I think you have to throw Aaron Dell in there as well. He played a fairly solid game on um, being able to keep them in the game. Um, wouldn't have looked good if he let that in from middle ice, but it looked like it might have hit off of a player that made a uh, impact there on that play. But this has been a reaction to the Phantoms' 4-3 to shootout loss that was a hell of a hockey game, one of the most exciting hockey games I've watched in a long time, which hockey's always exciting every night, so it, it, it's something when you say that. But one of the more exciting I've watched in a while. So have a great day and pleasant day, everybody. The Phantoms look to carry their point streak and keep it going as they play two tilts against Hershey next week. I'll be doing a preview to them, of course, next week. Stay safe out there, everybody, and enjoy the rest of the hockey. Peace out, everyone.